In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the best defensive playbook in Madden 25 and giving you just an overview or mini scheme out of some of the best formations in the game. Now, I just released a complete ebook on this defense in our school community. If you're not a member of our school community yet, I'd really encourage you to consider joining. It's only $10 to sign up for that. It's going to get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. We just released three new offensive and defensive ebooks for Madden 25 on the site, as well as an ebook for College Football 25. And we're dropping some new stuff this week. So if you're not a member of our school community, I'd really encourage you to consider joining. We're going to be talking today about the Vikings defensive playbook. You can get my full ebook in the school community right now, completely up to date, post patch, everything that you need to get more stops in this game. But I want to talk about why this is the best playbook. So this is the best playbook for a variety of different reasons. But this playbook literally has everything that you need. And I want to start by talking briefly about 146. Uh, 146 is kind of the, the big brother, if you will, to Dollar, at least in older Maddens. And then in more recent Maddens, Dollar has kind of been the, the better version of this kind of sub-dime package. But 146 is making its comeback. And I'm going to explain why. Uh, we're going to set a couple audibles here. We're going to have the Mike Strong Safety 3 Seam in here. We're going to have the Cross 3 Fire. We are going to have the Strong Eagle Slant 3. And then we're going to have this uh, DB Fire or DB Sing 2 Buzz. And what we're able to do within this defense is you can turn auto flip off, auto align to base, and you're going to come out in the double safety go. So very similar to Dollar, uh, but it's just from 1-4. And what you're going to see here is this also has uh, kind of built within it this uh, crossfire play that is is really good. And what you're going to do is you're just going to send four out of this. So you're just going to basically set your coverage up however you want. You also notice these safeties come down a little bit more in Dime 146 than they do out of dollar. Uh, but basically this is kind of the concept and you're just going to stand over here and you'll see a lot of times you'll get this kind of crossfire type of pressure uh, within this. So this is a great little defense here. Uh, a couple different things you can do from it. Now there is a little bit of a tell when you're running crossfire in that this guy does move. Uh, and then sometimes when you pinch, as you see, this guy can move over across the field. Um, so let me show you one other thing that we can do out of this. What I think is really cool out of Dime 146 is you can actually go through and flip or not flip. So let's say we didn't want to flip. What's cool is you have Mike Strong Safety Seam and you have Strong Eagle Slant 3. So you kind of have both of the kind of cross style or loop blitzes, if you will. And then if we don't flip here, you'll see there's crossfire and... The other thing, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about this, but take, take a look at the blitz angle here on the left side. You're going to see that you get a little bit of a different blitz angle now, and you see here that this, this kind of crossfire is a little different, right? Uh, the other thing that you have in this is you can audible to um, things like Strong Eagle Slant 3. This is a very similar variation. This is just Edge Blitz 3, but it's from Dime 146. As you'll see, this is that kind of loop blitz where we're going to be sitting four and getting pressure that way. One of my favorite blitzes, though, is actually this DB Sting 2. And if you notice, these slot corners are slightly different alignment than they are out of dollar. And you'll see that this can uh, create a little bit quicker edge pressure than the DB Fire 2 in dollar. Another thing that you can do is, let's say you're in crossfire, you can actually send, uh, kind of click onto these slot corners like so. Uh, so if I just hit circle one time, it clicks me on this side and then this guy. So you see, I can kind of get used to it like that. And then as I said, you know, now we're in crossfire and you're sending the crossfire concept as you can see. So a um, couple different variations of the blitz there. And then the other thing that I think is really interesting is if we take a look at this DB Sting 2 buzz, if I walk these guys off of the edge, kind of like this, and then I slant my line down and send five this way, this is kind of another way that you can kind of get some really cool pressure in this formation. This is just one of the formations um, in, the, in the overarching thing. I did want to touch a little bit more on crossfire. One of the other things that you can do is let's say that you don't really care about the double safety stuff and you can move them down yourself. One of the other things you can do when running this defense is you can just come out in crossfire. So I'll just come out in it now. And you'll see that when I pinch, now I can just press my coverage, walk these guys down like so. And now we're basically in the same defense and they're never going to flip. The reason that I like this is I think it's actually, with the way the game plays right now, I actually think it's easier to uh, to walk these guys down. 
uh, these safeties down as opposed to to audibly and all that because now uh, there's a lot of better a lot better blitzes with the uh, with the outside guys so there's uh, some some benefit to doing that as well uh, let me show you real quick DB Sting so the other thing that I was talking about was Mike Strong safety seam or I'm sorry or uh, Strong Eagle slant but basically these are just flip variations of the same thing so what you can do is there's not really identifier yet in this game so you could kind of just basically cheat so here i'm just going to make it look exactly like the other but now we're going to loop around the other edge so just a little thing uh, but can add a whole nother pressure package to what you're wanting to do defensively and then i personally really really like uh db sting to buzz uh, i would just you know you can just spread the linebackers if you want to and then just slant your line down throw this guy in his own but this is a really consistent kind of double edge out of 146 that you're able to get. So really nice little defensive mini scheme here out of this. You also in this playbook have 2-3, dime 2-3 Sam. Uh, this formation is really good because it has a, a edge blitz two and edge blitz two really easy to adjust out of. So you have that double safety go stuff and then you can get into edge blitz two out of this. You can get into some of the other things that you want to do defensively. Now, the other thing that makes this playbook good though is it also has literally everything else. It has three, four odd. And uh, the way I like to run three, four odd, three, four odd, uh, we're going to have auto flip off. And we're just going to come out and we're going to flip the three, four odds. We're going to flip our pinch buck. And we're just going to basically maximize this right side pressure. So what I like to do is if you're going to send five, um, you're just going to do it like this. So you see here, I'm going to be down here with my user. We'll just man the linebacker up with... The running back, and you see we get this real quick edge pressure on this left-hand side. Now, if they block their running back, we can then just as easy send six, and you're going to see that the send six is going to come home against a blocked running back. This is also really effective because let's say that we want to just, okay, we're just going to kind of bluff the pressure this time, and we're just going to put everybody in to a different type of coverage. So it might look something like what you see here. Well, now this is a send four, but if they're blocking their running back, then you're going to get this one-on-one -on -one between this linebacker and this running back pretty consistently in this, and you can get some really, really nice sheds in within the defense. So a great little send six, so it's probably the best send six in the game, just consistent, double-edge pressure, really clean, and uh, one of the better ways to get pressure in this game. So you have three, four odd. You also have four, three, even six, one, everybody's favorite red zone defense, and really one of the best just kind of basic shed defenses I like to run this. I also like to run this with auto flip off and I like to flip it. And we're just going to shift left, slant left. I got a baseline, uh, but you're going to basically be trying to get this kind of one-on-one -on -one defensive tackle disengage uh, that can be really, really effective. You can also get the defensive tackle looping around the left side. Uh, but this is, you know, you know, in my opinion, one of the best little just four-man blitzes in the game because it does have potential to come right up the A-gap. And then it also oftentimes can loop around the edge. Now, that's not the only reason why this is really good, though. If you have a good send five in this game, I think that's one of the more effective things you can do. So I'm gonna throw baseline on here, and now I'm gonna show you what I like to do to send five. So if I wanna send five, I'm just gonna send this linebacker off the edge. I'm gonna basically stand in the same spot, but I'm gonna use it a little bit differently. And what you're gonna see is this nice consistent edge pressure that is really effective. This pressure can come in if the running back is on the left side. So let's say the running back's on the left here, you can send it like this. A lot of times this will still come in or at least get a quick shed on the running back and put yourself in position to get a, a really good pass rush. Another defense that you have access to in here is the nickel 2-4 double mug. Now, the way I like to run this is I run auto flip default and auto flip on, and we're going to mainly base out of nickel dog three buzz. And the way I like to set this up, I'm just going to show blitz. I'm going to slant line down, contain, and then I'm just going to basically throw the slot corner and my user on a flat, and you're going to see that this send five is pretty decent. You're oftentimes going to get that edge rush on that right side. For some reason, we didn't get that. Let me try to show that one more time but you have uh, really nice pressure in this double mug and there you see we get that nice clean kind of similar to six one uh, double mug very similar to six one but you have a really good send five out of this and then the other thing that i like about this specific send five is if they block a running back a lot of times you're going to get a one-on-one -on -one with that linebacker he will instant shed him if you put a linebacker in that position and so it's one of the best little ways to get heavy pressure double mug certainly is patched but it's still really good and in some ways it's better than it used to be 
And then we have 3-3 Cub, right? 3-3 Cub is one of the most balanced defenses literally every single year. Um, you can run this as a man defense, a zone defense, whatever you want to do. All we have to do to get pressure out of this, um, you can send four and just contain if you want to try to send four like this. Sometimes this can work. Sometimes this send four can be very, very effective. If for whatever reason it doesn't work, all you got to do is just blitz the linebacker. So put both linebackers on a blitz and you're going to get this very clean edge rush off of this right side. So the Sin 4 is pretty decent out of Cub. A lot of people don't really realize that, but the Sin 4 is good. And then you can, if your Sin 4 is getting picked up, then you can just as easily send 5 and force them to have to block a running back or block a tight end. The whole key in this game is to have good defensive formations that can stop the run, but also defensive formations that can send good pressure. And I don't think there's any formation quite like nickel 335 odd right now. This formation to me is the best blitzing formation in the game. Auto clip off, auto alignment on base. And I like to have a um, couple things that I like to do out of this defense, uh, but the most basic level, we're either going to be coming out in hot blitz three or LB cross three show two. So I'll show you LB cross three show two first. You're just going to pinch your D line, show blitz. That's going to basically be your setup for everything. You're going to move this guy out and then you're going to uh, show blitz, and that show blitz feature is going to bring those safeties down into a really good depth. And this send four is really good. You'll oftentimes get this guy looping through, kind of similar to one four six, kind of similar to what we were doing uh, out of some of our other defenses. So you have that send four, which is really nice. And then the other thing that you have in this playbook or in this formation is you have hot blitz three which i think is just an absolute great powerful um defense you're just going to move this guy out you're going to contain and then from there you can literally do whatever you want right we're just going to put whatever adjustments we want on the field if you want to send five send five is is all the way back with this defense in my opinion uh, this makes send five really good because this send five can come in off of both sides you can get pressure off the left you can get pressure off the right and so this is as far as I'm aware, the only send five in the game right now that is going to get you consistent pressure against a blocked running back or a blocked tight end. As you'll see here, blocked running back, we're able to get the pressure off of that right side. And now I'll show you a blocked tight end. I will say blocked tight end sometimes can do better than a blocked running back on this, uh, but not a lot of people really like to block their tight end. And it's a real simple coverage defense. Uh, but anyway, here, here you're going to see that left side, and we get that nice left side pressure which what this means is not only is it a really good send five, but it's also going to be a really, really good send four because now we can do coverages like this right here. And this is a fairly good defense, uh, just as long as you see you get that nice double team on logic on that left side. Same basic thing is going to be true if we wanted to send it off of the right side. So we want to load up on coverage here to the left. So we might do a defense that looks something like what you see here on your screen. And if they send five out, a lot of times these send four pressures will come in as well. Not to mention it has all of the match coverages within this. And not to mention, you know, you've got a really good send three uh, out of this as well. And I'll show that real quick. So the send three out of this uh, is just basically you can send three off either edge as well. But the reason that I like to send three is for these disengaged sheds over the middle. These little send three is kind of similar to last year with dollar, how you could send three out of dollar and get pretty good sheds. So in general, this is, in my opinion, just the best defense in the game. And uh, this is very similar to 3-4 odd. If you actually look at the formation, it's basically 3-4 odd. We just walk somebody out. If we ever want to send six, we totally can. And a lot of times you're going to guarantee pressure against a blocked running back or blocked tight end. So the best defensive playbook in the game, in my opinion, most versatile defensive playbook in the game is going to be the Vikings playbook because it features every good defensive formation. The only de good defensive formation that you really don't have access to within this is dollar itself, but you do have two three Sam and dime one four six, which there could be an argument made. The dime one four six is just as good as dollar, if not better in some ways, shapes, and forms. So I'm gonna leave that there. But if you guys want to learn more about this defense, how to use it to stop the best offenses in the game, make sure that you join our school community. It's only ten dollars to become a member. It's gonna get you access to literally everything in the site that we have for both college football and for Madden 25. If you want to sign up, the link is in the description below.